what are the ultrasound markers in each trimester so ultrasound markers in the first and second trimester by now we have spoken about the biomarkers that we use in the first and second trimester now we are going to be talking about what are the usg markers that we use in both the trimesters so starting with the first trimester we have already discussed there are four things that we can do earlier it used to be only the nuchal translucency but now we also have nasal bone we have ductus venosus a wave reversal and we have tricuspid regurgitation starting with nuchal translucency so nuchal translucency kya hoti hai sabse pehle main tumhe photo ke dwara dikhaunga so this is what nuchal translucency looks like now which color should i use uh, yeah i'll just use a red color yeah so you see that over here this is your red se mein jo draw kar raha hu is your skin and this is your posterior wall of the body or skin ke beech ka area so in this area you can see this is the neck region you can see this is the neck region so the thickness of this region i'll erase everything so you all can see it well so the thickness of this region basically this area is what we call as the nuchal translucency nuchal neck translucency matlab kitna transparent part hai translucent part hai that is what i'm going to be measuring now you can see that over here isko compare karo kitna length hai iska thickness kitna hai और यहां पे कंपेयर करो यू कैन डेफिनेटली सी दैट द न्यूक्ल ट्रांसलूसेंसी इज इंक्रीज इन फीटस बी इन कंपेरिजन टू फीटस ए दिस इज वॉट वी कॉल एज इंक्रीज न्यूक्ल ट्रांसलूसेंसी इवेंचुअली दिस फीटस वॉज डायग्नोस्ड विद डाउन सिंड्रोम नाउ आई विल टेल यू वाई डज दिस इंक्रीज नो रिमेंबर how does translucency increase translucency increases because of water content edema it is basically you can see that this is more like subcutaneous edema ye dekho pura aisa edematous lag raha hai and now because the baby is in this position because this is the dependent part all the edema has gotten accumulated over here so what happens is whenever you have any aneuploidy beta in this case as a down syndrome so in aneuploidies you have two structures that are heavily regulated by chromosomes the first is going to be your nasal bone that i'm going to be talking about next and the next one is your cardiovascular system your heart so whenever there is any genetic defect or whenever there is any infection torch infection or whenever there is any chromosomal abnormality cardiovascular system is going to be one of the first things that are affected so whenever the cardiovascular system is affected it leads to cardiac failure कार्डियक फेलियर जब भी होता है कार्डियक फेलियर की वजह से क्या होता है बैक प्रेशर चेंजेस होते हैं एंड देर इज इंक्रीज हाइड्रोस्टेटिक प्रेशर सिमिलरली बिकॉज ऑफ एनी एन्यूप्लॉयडी इफ देर आर एनी रीनल सिस्टम नॉट रेस्पिरेटरी रीनल सिस्टम और हिपेटोबिलियरी सिस्टम कि अगर प्रॉब्लम्स आने लग गए सो रीनल सिस्टम आएगा तो देर इज गोट बी एन इंक्रीज एक्सक्रीशन ऑफ प्रोटीन इन द यूरिन hepatic problems are to reduce production of proteins which is the protein that fetus makes we just discussed alpha fetal protein which is also neurotransmitter and is also a fetal protein it is uh, similar to albumin in an adult so this is going to be changed the production of proteins are going to be altered the production and excretion is going to be altered even that will lead to body may a state of reduced oncotic pressure and increased hydrostatic pressure and that will lead to edema that edema reflects here as nuchal translucency so nuchal translucency is an indicator of some underlying multi or cardiovascular systemic problem and that needs to be evaluated aage jaake by doing maybe let's say a proper fetal cardiac 2d echo or maybe just directly doing an amniocentesis and checking ki kya hai so what are the levels what are the normal levels so the normal levels are what we call as usually less than 3 mm अगर थ्री मिलीमीटर से नीचे है तो कुछ नहीं करना है इट इज नॉर्मल वेर एज इफ योर लेवल आर मोर देन थ्री पॉइंट फाइव मिलीमीटर दे आर डेफिनेटली रेज एंड यू नीड टू बी डूइंग अ क्रोमोजोमल माइक्रो अरे नाउ वॉट इज क्रोमोजोमल माइक्रो अरे यू कैन जस्ट कंसिडर क्रोमोजोमल माइक्रो अरे एज अ टेस्ट दैट इज सुपीरियर टू जस्ट कैरियो टाइपिंग अंटिल नाउ यू आर लेट हर्ड ऑफ जस्ट कैरियो टाइपिंग 
karyotyping of course we will be doing this by taking out amniocentesis ya cvs ka sample karyotyping was being said to be a good test but now cma has superseded that because it not only tells me about aneuploidies it also tells me about small deletions translocations duplications along with the aneuploidy so cma is now said to be the first line and the best test currently the problem cma ka price hai 7000 8000 karyotyping is around 2000 3000 rupees there is one more test that we used to do that is fish that is fluorescent in situ hybridization this test is said to be a very poor quality test we don't prefer to do it the only advantage is ye 2 se 3 din mein report aata hai karyotyping ko lagta hai 10 se 14 din cma ko bhi lagta hai 10 se 12 din the only advantage is fish is done and the reports are being given out quickly so if it is more than 3.5 mm then definitely i need to do an invasive test and do this on the invasive test invasive test matlab mujhe amniotic fluid nikal ke uska test karna hai if it is between 3 to 3.5 mm then i need to check whether there are centiles centiles matlab 0 se leke 100 centile just like in neat pg you had a centile so basically if your rank ka centile was 99.4 then it indicates that you have gotten marks that are above 99.4 percent people so percent that is basically a marker of how many people or babies are behind you so similarly 3 to 3.5 ke upar agar 99 centile se upar aata hai so whenever you measure this system will give you a certain centile so if it is more than 99 centile then you should understand that there is increased nuchal translucency and then you will do the same things as you were doing for 3.5 so less than 3 is safe more than 3.5 definitely not safe and 3 to 3.5 if it is more than 99 centile and mostly it will be more than 99 centile then you will be doing those tests that is how you interpret nuchal translucency next the next test that i will be doing is going to be नेजल बोन यू सी यहां पर नेजल बोन मैंने मेजर किया हुआ है नाउ नेजल बोन इन फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर यू कैन सी इन दिस अब इमेज दिस इज द नेजल बोन दैट इज सीन वेर एज यहां पर देर इज कंप्लीट एबसेंस ऑफ नेजल बोन देर इज नो नेजल बोन दैट इज सीन वी ऑल्सो कॉल दिस एज एन इक्वल टू साइन वॉट इज द इक्वल टू साइन इक्वल टू साइन इज बेसिकली द सुपर उसके ऊपर का जो ऊपर का जो स्किन है द अब स्किन and this bone they make an equal to sign whereas yahan pe you can see that skin ka to line hai but there is no bone present over here and hence we call this as an absent nasal bone absent nasal bone is an indicator again of uh, absent nasal bone is a marker of trisomy 21 there are 40% of down syndrome babies who have present nasal bone so do not think that if the nasal bone is present then downs cannot be there it is one of the markers but not the only marker you still have to look for all other systems now a few people report something called as a hypoplastic nasal bone remember hypoplastic nasal bone is not a finding of first trimester it is a finding of second trimester hypoplastic nasal bone is never and should never be reported in the first trimester it should only be reported in the second trimester in the first trimester if you think that the nasal bone is small it is hypoplastic but it is there it is present then don't do anything wait till your second trimester then see if it is still hypoplastic then you can report it and you can test the fetus but if it has grown the thing is between your nt scan and between until your anomaly scan there is going to be a period when the bone ossifies and it becomes normal so you have to give the benefit of doubt to the female and not immediately go ahead with testing so in the first trimester either it is absent or present and in the third trimester it can either be absent hypoplastic or present that is how you will interpret what is now over here i have shown you a picture now this is a picture that i have taken and is an ideal image that you can see i have taken now yahan pe you can see that i have taken multiple measurements yahan pe maine nasal bone liya hai yahan pe you can see that the centiles are also given so this is 44.1 centile which is normal for a nasal bone i don't need to know the exact line i only need to know the centile apart from that this over here you can see this area is the nuchal translucency yahan pe nt likh ke sorry maine ek line upar gawana diya over here you can also see yeah you can see that the nt has been marked in this region this is the nt that is a nuchal translucency nuchal translucency this is your occipital bone 
ऑक्सीपिटल बोन है ये और ये उसके ऊपर का स्किन है यहाँ पे सो so, इसके बीच में कितना ये है एरिया वो देखना है यहाँ पे यू कैन सी द न्यूकल एंटी न्यूकल ट्रांसपोर्टेंस इज वन मिलीमीटर विच इज नॉर्मल थ्री के नीचे है यू विल आस्क ये बीच का स्पेस क्या है दिस इज योर सिस्टर ना माइग्ना एंड दिस ओवर योर इज योर ब्रेन स्टेम दिस इज योर थलेमस डायन के फिलोन विच विल डेवलप आगे जाके इन टू थलेमस यू डोंट नीड टू नो ऑल दैट ऑल यू नीड टू नो इज द न्यूकल ट्रांसलूसेंसी बाय द वे दिस व्यू दैट यू कैन सी इज सेट टू बी द आइडियल व्यू वी कॉल इट एज द मिड सजाइटल व्यू ऑफ द फीटल हेड ऑफ द फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर स्कैन यहां पे यू हैव टू सी द फाक सेरेब्राय यू कैन सी द फाक सेरेब्राय ओवर योर दिस इज द फाक सेरेब्राय यू कैन सी द नेजल बोन यू डोंट हैव टू सी द पैलेट द पैलेट वुड हैव बीन ओवर योर दैट पैलेट इज नॉट सीन योर पैलेट सॉरी द मैक्सिलरी बोन इज नॉट सीन ओवर योर एंड यू कैन सी यहां पे ये तीनों स्ट्रक्चर सो यू कैन सी द नेजल बोन एंड द न्यूकल ट्रांसक्लूसेंसी सो द क्वेश्चन इज वेन डू यू डू दिस स्कैन So this scan, what we also call as the NTNB scan, nuchal translucency nasal bone scan, can only be done if the crown rump length. What is the crown rump length? If this is my fetus, this is the head, these are the hands, and these are the feet. The crown rump length, basically the length from this point to rump, that is the anal region. ये जो इतना area है, this should be between this CRL crown rump length should be between 45 to 85 और 84 मिलीमीटर mm. इसके बीच में अगर होगा तो ही यू कैन डू दिस एन टी एनबी स्कैन उससे कम या ज्यादा होगा सो यू कैन नॉट डू एन टी एनबी स्कैन दिस रफली इक्वेट्स टू 11 टू 13.6 पॉइंट सिक्स वीक्स बट नेवर जज इड बाय द जस्टिशल एज ऑलवेज जज इड बाय द क्राउन रम प्लेन सो दिस टेस्ट एन टी एनबी स्कैन कैन ओनली बी डन वेन द फीटस का क्राउन रम प्लेन इज बिटवीन This, there between this part. So, if it is, then this patient can be uh, followed up with the NTNB scan.